In order to use Timeline Setter, you must create a CSV file on your computer with all the information for each event on your timeline. Well, wait. What is the CSV file? The CSV file is essentially a spreadsheet that you create in Microsoft Excel. It contains the information for all the events on the timeline, including the date, description, links, and HTML. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. This file is doing exactly that, creating a spreadsheet of separate values the timeline tool can easily reference and understand. Well, how do I create this file? Well, to make it easy, you can go to the following link, download the sample CSV spreadsheet we created, and change the contents to your own.、Mm -hmm. What goes in this file? Well, the actual date of the event, the date you want the timeline to display, a short description of the event, link to additional information, and if you want to get really advanced, any HTML. The following code will give you the choice to add in a picture in the HTML column. Keep in mind that the timeline setter can only support single date events, and that the date must include the month, day, and year. Okay. Now what? Next, install timeline setter. To install this gem, type the following. Great. I think I've got it. Now let's create timeline folder and directory. We recommend that you create a new folder for this step on your desktop. How do I create a new folder? You can either use the mkdir command or create a new folder like you normally would do in Finder. Let's say we name it "new folder." Okay. Now, how do I link the timeline setter to this new folder? To link your new output folder with the timeline tool, type the following. The dash o stands for output path. Making sense? Yes, I think I'm getting it. Okay, now let's open the newly created directory in terminal. Let's type cd command to open the folder in terminal. Now let's add supporting folders and files inside a new folder and directory. In order to do this, you must type. This adds the default supporting assets to the output directory we just specified in separate files. Okay, now we're getting closer. Just link the timeline tool with your CSV that you created in the previous step. To do this, type the following. Make sure the name of the CSV file matches the name and path of the file that you created. Okay, now actually the timeline is finished. We just need to view it. To do this, go to the new folder you created on your desktop. There, you'll find a timeline.html file. Open that, or type the following in your terminal. And that's it. Wow! Awesome. Not at all. Hope you'll be able to use it for your future project.